Eyes on target. Yeah, you had EOT. That texture's pretty good. <laughs> this game rules. Nice. Get him. Get him. Nice. <laughs> nice. Wall moves. I wish there was a button you could press to just rack the gun. Yeah. Just rack it. Oh, you just had your little tiny beverage. I had two. Here, slap one up there. Click! Bomb placed. You don't have to tell me, game. I wonder if there was originally some sort of... <laughs> Dolphin style. I wonder if... There was originally some sort of hurry up and uh, get uh, get off the boat like oh, scene yeah. before. It was like you have ten seconds to get off. Then testers kept getting lost. Testers were like, testers were like, who cares? Tequila. Tequila. I <laughs> look at the shadows. Everyone's gonna be looking in those shadows. What am I doing? I'm owning idiots. <laughs> Inspector Tequila, I need your badge and your gun. Chief, there are still idiots to own. There's still copious morons to get ru ruined. One enemy vessel. I love enemy. But yeah, so me and uh, Dave Turk says that they had to down res a lot of textures to get the levels into memory. It's okay, Dave Turk. We uh, yeah, that's fine. We still we we respect the audacity of uh, just this whole insane thing. This game had me fantasizing about FPSs, uh, FPSs that were like totally about vantage point, <laughs> like this. That like, man. So Vanquish ended up being an FPS that's entirely about vantage point, but uh, just line of sight. Get there. I want to dive on him. Nice. Just like line of sight, if you can see it, you can shoot it. If it can see you, it can shoot you. And that is also a cornerstone of uh, Ziggurat. I wonder if Vanquish will be a game we also play on one of these streams. Hmm. Own him. Own him too. Own him. Come on, man. Man, you really I failed. Dive on a <gasps> Yeah, these levels are like some some early era. This level is like some early era N64 Shadows of the Empire style. Uh, and that's what we like. We love that, yeah. So Shadows of the Empire Gaul Spaceport uh, is also another shooting game that we're going to have to play. Outsider Perspectives, underappreciated shooting games. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Take that. There's a lot of drug tables in this game. That's it. You did it. Believe it oh, or not, okay. we Here just we had to fade to black. Oh man, artifacty cutscene. Get on that boat. Get the heck out of there. I'm curious about how many idiots' lives they just ended. So uh, now they're talking about the PC port in house or uh, in the chat. Dave Turk says it was not done in house. Uh, of this. Yeah, the there PC port of this. Is it on Steam? Couldn't we play it in 60 FPS? Oh, I just got owned. Dave Turk is uh, talking up the Bink video here. Bink video. Uh, he wants to talk to you about what he means. He wants to have a bunch of dudes open fire on you. Oh, is that Inspector Tequila? No. I mean, I could. This game owns, man. The name is Tom Hall. We're probably gonna stop streaming pretty soon. Yeah. We got bad history. Maybe we would, maybe we could play more of this later. If I thought that you did, you already would be. Today, I love this guy's dubbed sounded voice. Here's the look I haven't seen on your face a lot. Confusion. Let me clear it up for you. The golden king put out the hit on your cuff. Oh, J. Kev says, uh, 
that it's not on Steam, it's on games for Windows Live. Wait, why are they actually talking? What's the point of actually talking in this game? They're flinging word bullets at each other. WBs. Nice. This game rules. Look at that. Well, FaceTime. Oh, it's like cell shaded too. Wait, that's that's his daughter and his granddaughter. No, this old guy. Hmm. They're talking about the deathmatch multiplayer in the chat. I tried the deathmatch like once. And uh, there was like nobody playing. Billy and Tico? Billy and Tico? This game rules. God, this cutscene is so long though. But the level was also long. It's appropriate. It's just about time for bed, everybody. Wow, this is so long. I'm used to me, he said. Is that a Polaroid? Oh, Billy and Tico. Ooh! They've got his wife and his daughter. Someone shot us with a rocket launcher. Are they going to talk about who killed the cop? Oh, now you're in the boatyard. There's lots of don't know. Nice. That's a lot of heroin. Just look for the blue holograms on these structural weaknesses. <laughs> Alright, thanks police boat. Place 14 C4 charges in oh marked locations throughout the dock. Yeah, that first level is where it's at. Yeah, well, I gotta say, you get through this, you're still not through this boat level. Yeah. Once you get through this, it's it's there's some more cool stuff. Whoa, Hold on. yeah. I think there's a. I don't Hold see on, it. guys. Just give me a second. There we go. Whoa, they got owned. Tyler Joke says he has the phone that, that uh, Charlie oh, that has. Oh. The Chow Yun Fat Experience. Dave Chow Turk is phone. telling us we have to get to the casino. <laughs> oh man, I want to get to the casino. Unfortunately, I don't think we can uh, play that much. Perhaps next time. Man, this game rules. Can I like... What am I doing? Go to Tayo and ask an I-9. Is this for getting around or for killing? Oh, it's for killing. Yeah, so I'm looking at a there list of stuff. Nice. Yeah, after this is when you do the awesome restaurant level. Which I like a lot. The restaurant level is insane. 
Oh, you placed the bomb, by the way. Yeah, tell me about it. What? <laughs> ah! I guess you gotta go up there if you wanna place that bomb. I like how there actually is like a a serious mafia plot in this game, even if it's not like world class. It's at least John Woo approved. Do you remember the rumors that John Woo was going to direct uh, a movie based on Metroid? Oh yeah, that was I weird, that. wasn't it? I mean, what would that even be like? Other M. Of Therm. Oh, nice. I placed it while I was on my belly. That was amazing. Guy's got talent. Hong Kong's got talent. Oh, there you go. Look at that Donkey Kongishness. <laughs> That's straight up Donkey Kong. Oh, that was unnecessary. Um, now what? I don't know. Get over. I don't know. Got to place the other seven bombs. I mean, you've done half of them. <coughs> It would be insane to stop now. Oh, man. What? Shoot those things. What things? No, that's not gonna work. Can you dive over that? <laughs> Perfect. Excellent dive. Oh. Whoa, cool. Hmm. Well. <laughs> this is such a depressing place to leave off on. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're at a thing we don't really know how to do. I'm leaving off at a part where I'm just going to go play Destiny. <coughs> I'm doing that moon strike tonight. I still haven't done, like, any... Most of the strikes. There's that. <clears throat> oh, I was already up here. Um, here, let me let me poke around at it. All right. Let's see if there's stuff you can shoot. That whoa. <laughs> nice. Off to a good start. Off to a heck of a good start. <clears throat> oh no. No. Uh, hmm. Anyone who knows what to do. <laughs> Dave Turk says, look for a yellow board. Reject. I got some yellow <laughs> boards <coughs> oh, <God. coughs> in that big barrier right there. But it didn't fall over, so maybe there is more. I like that gunshot sound. Very popcorn-y. Is there, like, something far away that'll fall into it, or...? Yeah, this is pretty bad. Oh, is that a zip line right above you? No, I think it might just be a cable or a board. Well, I'm, uh... Oh, no, this is maddening. Oh no, this is so depressing. Yeah, maybe if you go down low, there's something over there. Oh, let me go there. <laughs> A bunch of crap <coughs> under the bridgey part that I need under to destroy. Part. Like this? That crap? The gray crap?
All the stuff you can destroy is usually pretty clearly marked with like yellow and black stripes. Yeah, this is this is pretty bad. I don't know what to do. Ooh. You're gonna dislocate your shoulder. Monkeying around like that. No rough housing by the stairs. Someone says in the little hole with the sun. I don't know what that means. There are little holes in a lot of those rusted out things. Maybe go peek through some of them. Is there a sun on that blue one? Do you have to go up higher? Oh, this is so obnoxious. Like right, oh no. Right there? Little hole oh with the my sun. god. There's a glint. That's it. Pretty good. Wait, I see the hole. Wait, that was it. There's a barrel through the hole. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. Oh, okay. Well, that made some gas show up. <laughs> oh god, I'm almost out of bullets. I'm out of bullets! Oh, that opened it up. I can walk over. Oh, excellent. Cool. Stylish kill. Killed that other guy somehow, too. Oh, put that on there for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was so frustrating, trying to figure that out. Oh, can I just take that? Ooh, tasty. Still like it better than Watch Dogs. Is that it for bomb spots on this side? Probably. There's only five left. Wait, what? Whoa! Barrel. Think it over, yes. creep. That's great. We got two of those. Nice. Oh, um, idiot. Hey, uh, excuse me, idiot. Yes. Just the flinching is just amazing. People just go flying. I hope I didn't miss one over there. Oh. You guys want to get owned or what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was the best. Oh, yeah. Oh. No. Peel open the final fortress to reveal its heart. What? Jeez. This way? Uh, you, you suppose this is where I go? What's the fourth tequila power? Uh, the spinning move. Oh. You do like a cyclone. Where he just kills My everything. Butt. It's like a homing attack. Keep it simple. Get owned, a hole. Oh wait, how do I reload? Hey, hey, joke. Don't run. Don't run, idiot. You can't run from own. Don't run. <laughs> Where does this idiot think he's going? Yes, I love it. There's the sniper. There we go. Why is my shotgun uh... Better drink a bomb. <coughs> Boom. Yeah, right. 
Get owned, moron. Oh, I'm just gonna shoot tequila. What if tequila? I shoot the bomb? It's a joke. You can't just shoot tequila. Tequila's gonna end you. I'm gonna take out my gun and shoot tequila. I'm gonna... There's no way I'll get owned. Turn it's like... bomb. Yep, I meant to. I had my finger right there. Oh, hints glints. I love hint glints. Try hitting things that, ex like, explode in probing things. Oh, thanks. Wait, if they're exploding, how? I, it's pretty hard to hit them. <laughs> Alright, I can do this. I really can't wait to be done with this whole level. Guy, it's two yeah. cell phones on this belt. That's a joke. Two mobiles. Moblies, as they used to call them. Oh, I've got two moblies. Oh, can you eat this? Ooh. Thank you. Hi, boys. Are you hungry? Oh, his knees. God, this game rules with such ferocity. I've got to stop trying to line up the cinematic kills. That's going to be my own inch. Yeah. Just give him some good clean Who's, runs. Who the heck was shooting me? That sniper's over there. Oh, that idiot. That sniping Moran. Why don't you precision his bag off? Oh, because he's behind it. Would you like to lose your bag, sir? I ah, forget it. I'll oh, shoot you. Oh, my elbow! Just... Yeah. He's alive. He's Did okay. It. Is he? What? Here you go. You want to do this? Do it. Yeah. Just do it. Oops. Oh, man. They're teabagging you. Yeah, they're crunching me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to punk him. Turn on the punk machine. Dole out some punks. Turn on the punk machine, yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, the Cockney rhyming slang for cell phone is Maria, by the way, because it rhymes with no, or it doesn't rhyme, but it Cockney rhymes with Nokia. <laughs> Nokia Maria. Uh, so we've also got Dave Turk telling you to just run because this game is designed, or this level is oh, yeah. designed as very sadistic. I think we're going to, I want to put out a kill order oh, no, on everyone. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, don't tell me that uh, it's not true. I want to, I'm going to just believe. What? That uh, no, Maria is the rhyming slime. This game so rules. It's pretty sick. I really, really just want to make a game that will be renowned forever as the God Hand of Shooters. Like, really want to. <coughs> yeah. This game is close, but I mean, it's not. It's not technical enough. Like, God Hand is just quintessentially technical. Nice wall move, bro. Love that one-handed shotgun. Yeah. You gotta be a boss to do that. Pull that off. Who are you kidding with that huge thing? <laughs> That's what you would say. Ow! Stop. Where is he? Was there... No. <coughs> oh! Couldn't you have owned that guy a little bit harder? <laughs> I washed his dishes. Oh, I mean, I crushed him with the dishwasher. Hey. Is that it? Hey, I wanted to go up that board. We're here, uh, if you love games that rule, we're here.
And Devereaux says, uh, when I play God Hand, I feel like I'm playing a shooter. Yeah, yeah, me too. It feels uh, What's this? like a crazy reimagining of Doom. Yeah, so it's like... Can I just take apart this building or what? I have talked extensively with... Uh, yeah, it looks like you can. I've talked extensively about God Hand with people who worked on it. But, uh... Uh... I didn't do anything. Oh. Like, the, the basically, the way you think of... Everybody talks about, can you make a good 3D brawler? And it's like, well, yes, you can. Uh, God Hand proved it. You just have to think of the oh, attacks as uh, short-range projectiles, really. You know? Short-range projectiles. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, that was very good. Looks like the way has revealed itself. Oh, this is where I was. There's probably a bomb up there. Oh, Whoops. Yeah. You need to get the last and you need to get the last of bomb. Oh god, what if it's on the other it can't be on the other side. I reckon it's right over here. God, you know what? These cops are real particular about where they want you to put these bombs. <laughs> oh, this is... Okay, that's why this board's here. Oh, there you go. Oh. Is that it? It's a glint. What is that? It's a glint to grab, it looks like. Oh, it's yeah. interactable. Oh, no. Now I'm all the way back here. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. All right. Let's go. I'm loving it like McDonald's, man. Did you, did you see where the last bomb thing was? No, I was looking. I had I had my eyes peeled. <coughs> Let's see if the chat has any idea. I reckon it's over here, past past all this. Nonsense. I'm being asked, is the uh, are all the past broadcasts really gone forever? Yeah, Twitch sent me an email saying that they would delete all my broadcasts after seven days. All of my so I should export whatever I wanted. I exported one Watch Dogs video, and Immediately afterward, everything was deleted. Here we go. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so, yeah, they really rooked me. Because I had all of the Watch Dogs videos set to archive forever. But the last Watch Dogs video is on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out, like, fave, subscribe. That's a joke. I've literally never said that out loud. But it is on the YouTube channel. Who's that? Bad guy, probably. I told you to stay out of it. Oh, it's your chief. It's the chief. Punch him. You're supposed to also give him your gun. Z. No way, man. I brought these from home. I made these myself. Oh. Tequila. And then tequila shakes his fist at him. Yeah, so now Dave Turk is saying everything from now on, from this point on, is fantastic. Cranks the action to 11. Really? That's it? That was the one bad level? Yeah, that was the level Why that... Why everyone always complain about it, though? Oh, God, what this one... Well, because some people just could not get through it. Yeah. Chumps. And I primarily was talking to people who had a... Uh, Bought this game used and cheap, I guess, and even they just talked about giving up on it. Yeah. If I'd paid full price at retail, oh, 18 years, years ago. ago. Oh man. Here's that bank video. I love a good bank vid. 
Oh, it's Billy. Oh, they're on a date? Gross. Yeah, that's so gross. What is she doing? Oh, cool. Oh, my God, that rules. This date is awesome. No. Of my father seeing us together, he warned us once. Are you sorry you fell in love with me? No, oh, this so I'm rules. Fine. It's not just the two of us anymore. This is the boneriest like, video game I've ever seen. All you have to do is kill 500 people and you can just kiss babes in the street. No. Yeah. It's terrible. If my father finds out, he'll just kill really got to... Yeah. You really need to own it if you want to bone it, I guess. My dream game is the opposite, though. You go around just smooching 500 or so people and then there's a cutscene where you kill one guy. <laughs> oh, man, I love his cargo pants. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna meet him. Well, there you go. End of level stats. <coughs> Did uh, fifteen million two hundred thirty-one. All those shanties can't be worth more than a dollar each. Is that coming out of my paycheck? <laughs> Tequila. We're docking you fifteen mil. That fifteen million Hong Kong dollars? Because those are probably worth about a hundred thousand. Yeah, we probably paid more shanties. for this game at GameStop. Yeah. Or at whatever that place was. Uh, you fire while prone, by the way. I oh, a, wow. I've, uh, I've fired while prone before. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, God, it's like you just can't turn it off. because the Because oh, the owns just won't stop. I don't pay those. Not yet. That's okay. They're not guitars. <laughs> They're full of guns. They're cellos. Oh, wow. We call this one the owner, and this one the buyer. <laughs> This one right here, what do you call that? That's the cellar. The cutscene like had the little spinning paper crane on top of the statue. Yeah, it's just showing you that it's the level in engine. Uh oh. So, this is the first level of the game where I. The guy I, disappears, look, watch on that one. Blip. He just blips out, yeah. This is the first level in the game where I, uh, I cried so hard at the amount of own. So, you place the guitar cases. Oh, wow. And they. Are your ammo? They replenish. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know where to put them. Well, so it's like they don't—they don't know that you're here to kill anybody yet. They think you're just uh, a dude in a leather jacket uh, who's sprinting around with two guitar cases for no reason. Oh he man! Plays a guitar note. That uh, that vase there looks pretty vintage. I hope it doesn't get uh, blowed up. <laughs> Are they even destructible? The vases. Uh, I don't know. Are they? I don't know. Is stuff? Do you think stuff's destructible? Oh, this cart. That's a good place for that. Oh, I'm gonna cart down the stairs. Oh no, you can only do it from the side with the handle. So yeah. So here we go. This is what I like. I like the idea of oh spin attack. The birds. It kills everybody in the room. <laughs> it's your smart bomb, basically. Stylish kills. Partial damage to boss characters. Yeah, so this... This part's gonna make you cry. You might as well sink a life or two into it. I'll get my tears ready. This is just like... The stuff in this game, in, in all sincerity, it's like... The sort of... This is a game built out of the oh, urban... Oh, I kicked him! Yeah. This is a game built out of the urban legends kids told about stupid arcade games. You know? Oh, whoops. It's like a game built out of those urban legends the kids told in the 90s. It's yeah. great. Strategic ammo placement. The people in the chat are going nuts. I love that. <laughs> oh, I love on. that weird strategy element. I don't know, man. Oh, there's stairs over here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put one I, here. I put one. Yeah. For me to beat it, I put it over here. And then on the other side. Yeah. I would put it in the corner. The upper corner. So you have upper corner and then lower opposite corner unless Dave Turk wants to give us a tip Dave Turk if you Dave have a tip tips. Dave Tip if you want to give us a Turk <laughs> I liked it I mean I don't want to like toot my own I horn here but every, every time I ever stream an old game uh, somebody who worked on it is in the is in the chat and that's like so great yeah I mean 
Imagine if you could rent a Super Nintendo game in the 90s and just the phone would ring. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I had to sign some levels on this. Well, it's like so cool. The, the internet in the year 2014 is pretty awesome for that sort of thing. I'm like typing up a list right now of games that I want to play on this stream. Oh, so if anybody Get wants to here. give me some more... Uh, we're going to be... I mean, we're dealing primarily in shooting games now. I want to do some weird ones. I kind of want to put Haze on here. Haze? Yeah, did you play Haze? With the Nectar? Yeah. Nectar. Haze is, is weird. Is good? Uh, not extremely, but it's interesting. Corn did the theme song. They sure did. Uh, I want two rock oh, two I'm sorry, seeds of evil. Uh, new to rock. Uh, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, definitely. Oh my god. That golf spaceport, one of the best. Levels yeah, we, the we need to game. do a, a breakdown on golf spaceport. We should do that when and if Porter's in town. Yes. Yes. Porter can. Uh, he also uh, prays at the altar of the Gaul gods. Okay. Yeah, so anyone who is unfamiliar, if you have any means to do so, try playing Shadows of the Empire. And what is it, level three? It's level three, isn't it? Gaul Space Fort? Four, if you count the first one with the uh, speeder. If you count the speed of the snow speeder, yeah. So Gaul Space Fort is an enormous, persistent environment. It's like a single, giant environment. And it takes about 45 minutes to play yeah. all the way through mm -hmm. if you don't die. And it contains... I know that. I had to do it many times because I died on Boba Fett at the end on hard so many times. Oh, you unlocked an achievement called The Killer. <laughs> That's the name of a John Woo movie. So I one know. thing about a Gaul Spaceport that will blow your mind if you see it. Oh, that thing was priceless. God dang it. Oh! Doing some damage to the world. I wonder what the dollar value of those vases is. Oh, Maybe God, Dave this... Turk can tell us. Oh, I was trying to shoot the guys. Oh, too bad. Oh, you can get ammo there, by the way. Yeah, this is just wave after wave. I love this real-time strategy-esque element uh -oh. to this. You're just supposed to know the space, yeah. own the space. Uh, this is pretty good. Yeah, the rest of the game is pretty good. I really, I, I, I like all three Max Pans. I would say this is better than the first Max Pan. <laughs> yeah, but at what cost? Uh, I don't know what that means. But it's, <laughs> it's, uh, the first Max Payne Ooh. is, uh, was an idea, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tequila. <laughs> snaps into standing. So yeah, if you haven't played Golf Spaceport, I, I would say play that. Because we're going to do like a critical playthrough of that level. Whoa! Is there any other level oh, of... Got two. Yeah, yeah, why the heck not, right? Is there any other level of Shadows of the Empire we would recommend at all? Uh, the whole game's good. The whole game is pretty good. But that one is probably in a league of its own. It's, yeah, Gaul Spaceport is just one of the, the pillars of game design, of um, level design. What's it? The first, the Hoth base. The Hoth base is good. It's good, but it's not... And then the next base is, the next level is uh, the, like, indoors kind of, you're like inside of a big old ropey weird base. It's very oh, corridor. that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, there's another indoor. Isn't there an indoor level so, before Gaul Spaceport? I believe it goes uh, Hoth with the snow speeder, Hoth indoor, and then you're on the train, the junk planet. Yeah, yeah, the junk planet. Yeah, junk planet yeah, where you fight IG-88. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I, love the I don't know which coat. indoor one you're talking about. There's that's Shizor's I... Palace later on. Yeah, okay, okay. Shizor's Palace. There's the sewers. Yeah, yeah. I love these guys' outfit. That rules. Um, but yeah, the... So, yeah, but Gaul Spaceport has a lot of what we really like what we're considering a pillar of the design of our FPS. Well, our, our F, I'm going to go ahead and say our FPS is a TPS, but I don't like calling it a TPS. If you're controlling the camera, that's first person. Uh, 
I believe John Carmack once said that uh, a third, a first-person shooter is any game where you're controlling the camera and shooting. Oh, yeah. So, and if oh, that's man. if that's oh man, what the heck? So our game is a oh, uh, God. <laughs> our game is a first-person shooter where you can see the character, much like uh, our favorite games, Psyops, and uh, oh my God, this Max Payne. Oh, we definitely have to play through Max Payne three on a stream. Yeah. Uh, Black. Uh, Tyler Doak was mentioned. Play Max Payne two. Max Payne, yeah, I would play Max Payne two on this as well. Maybe more people have played three in this day and age. Yeah. Whoa, you got owned. No, I'm okay. You can use tequila time. I need my box. I need my guitar. Oh yeah, just go strum a couple notes. But yeah, Gaul Spaceport. One of the things we consider a pillar of what we want to do with our shooting game, our big budget shooter, is. Got them. The buildings that are the exact same size on the inside as they are on the outside. Yeah, the space is all kind of jigsaw puzzled together in a nice, satisfying way. Oh, yeah. I had such a good time messing around with Quake and with uh, I think was... the Unreal Editor and making levels uh, and just, you know, subtracting some space out of a box and making a, an indoor thing. That was my god darn Minecraft, mm -hmm. you know, was messing with that stuff. And it was so cool, and uh, you can you can make Gaul spaceport esque levels pretty easily. Man, these games rule. So yeah, we've got yeah. a pretty good list. So I would so I, would mention... I guess uh, if you've never played Shadows of the Empire, the idea of Gaul spaceport is that you're trying to get to the spaceport itself, but you have to park your ship in a canyon sort of far away. So you start out just like in the middle of nowhere, and you get closer and closer to the actual spaceport by... Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just see a landmark on the horizon. You start traveling through it. There's, like, smaller bases carved out into the canyon walls that you go through until eventually you're, like, surrounded by Imperial whatever ships. Yeah. It's it's really, really beautiful. And then it has a pretty neat boss fight. Well, the boss, I'm going to spoil it, is Boba Fett. Uh, and they do him the just... Whoa, kill this cop. Everyone could kill this cop for me. That was like in the trailer that was on at the end of the demo, I think. So anyone could kill this cop for me? <laughs> but yeah, uh, Gaul Spaceport, man. Yeah, like, it does Boba Fett the justice that uh, all the fan fictions of all the paperback novel expanded universe readers uh, wanted. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Oh, now, baby. there's the car. Dave Turk was telling us that car is a, uh, 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 what do you call it? A holdover from, they had vehicle segments oh, yeah, in the yeah. game. And they didn't get to put God, them in. This place. But they left the car in. Oh, I'm going to be sliding and running on these. I'm and sure. he says that they're very proud of how that car will be destroyed. Oh. The, the, the deformation on that car is uh, know, quite possibly out of sight. So I'm trying to think of any other video game that ha feels anything like Gaul Spaceport. And it's like... Oh, yeah. It's like it's a like, very... It's a journey, right? Yeah. It's like a sort of linear so, story. Our game, which uh, is called Ziggurat, I'll just spoil that, is uh, basically Gaul Spaceport, but it feels like Sin and Punishment. And it has the physics... <laughs> I love these guys. Yeah. And it has the physics and ownage of Stranglehold. So let's see, our list that I've got so far of other games we want to play. We've got Stranglehold, Bullet Witch, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, uh, Win Back 2, Project Poseidon. Those are all Ooh. caveat games. I want to play that. I never have. I Win Back 2 is really good. One. So Win Back 2, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, and Bullet Witch are all the same engine, which is Cavia's bizarre 3D shooting engine that they made for whatever the reason. Um, Slide on this? Nope. Sin and Punishment, you've got a it's a it's a rite of passage, Kerwin. You must play through Sin and Punishment. Yeah. It's really short. It's like it's it's like listening to an album, basically. Uh, Star okay. Fox sixty four also has elements that we would want to draw on. Uh, it's one of my faves. Panzer Dragoons Vi is another one we must stream. That's one of my faves that I've never played. Yeah, oh That's man. One of my one of, future faves. One of those faves that you've never played. Uh uh, did I mention Vanquish? No. Vanquish, absolutely, we must play through. I need to get it for 360 for streamability purposes. And also so we can use our sweet controllers. Um, 
<laughs> uh, time shift and haze. I, I want to try to play that Born conspiracy because I'm convinced there's cool stuff going on in it. Uh, two Rock Two Seeds of Evil. Have you ever played that one? No. We need to get Porter here and also play Two Rock One, or also known as Two Rock Dinosaur Hunter. Uh, two Rock and One Rock, yeah. Uh, two Rock, One Rock. Yeah, Two Rock, Two Seeds of Evil should have just been called Two... Oh, wait, yeah, you want to hit him there. Oh, what? Oh, that's no. The, that's the one hit kill. Oh, no. Nice. Um, the new Two Rock, or New Rock. New Rock. The most recent Two Rock game, which has, like... Let's see what happens. Dynamic oh, dinosaur behaviors. Oh, man. Yeah, that's really destructible. I bet the headlights individually shatter. Shoot the gong. Ow. Let's there see. should be an achievement for shooting the gong. Whoops! Oh no! Whoa! You, the paint melted off. There should be an achievement for shooting the gong while diving off of the dragon. <laughs> should be an achievement. <laughs> it should just Wait, be what, called like ho- for what the, they call it. Sh- hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a part in uh uh. Wait, oh. What movie is it? You only live twice, where James Bond is shooting up the uh, the the volcano base, and in a much earlier scene, we see someone dumped into a pool of water that is full of piranhas, and they get chewed up, and there's a screaming sound. Yeah. And much later in the movie, James Bond is battling through this fortress, and we enter the room with the pool, and he knocks a guy into the water, and he looks in and says, "Bone oh, apple cheat," like that, and he died. He says, Bon Appetit, like that. Which is a terrible Sean Connery impression. But, uh, and it's like, to a viewer who might have just walked into the theater, <laughs> it's, it looks like he pushes a guy into the water and just says, Bon Appetit. I've mentioned this like on 10 streams now. So, uh, I think it's really funny to imagine shooting someone in the face. <laughs> With a bullet and saying Bon Appetit because that's even funnier. In the mouth. So maybe that achievement could be called Bon Appetit. Man, I really love these guys. Yeah, these guys. will shoot that thing. That star. What is that? To your left. Right there. Oh my God, it spins. God, that's, it's just amazing how much orange there is. I really like this level. Yeah. All the people who told me that this game is no good after the first level. Yeah, well... I think I'm probably going to have to... Unfriend them I'm gonna on have Facebook. To you have to re- re- rejoin reactivate Facebook. Reactivate my Facebook, unfriend them, and then deactivate it again. Yeah. We've got Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, PsyOps, Max Payne 2, Max Payne 3, Black, and Wet. Uh, don't play Wet. Don't play Wet? Yeah. It's like this, but not nearly as good. Tyler Doak mentioned it, but he also said he hasn't played it. It's got cool arena segments like this that are like. Yeah, I really like the arena like score system and everything, but I don't know. It just feels not as good. We could play it. I have it for 360. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh man, I'll play that. NC Game says he really wants to make an action game. It's about making an action movie. So you're trying to get cool sequences right in the game. Hey. Mark Argent says like Stuntman, right. but with guns instead of cars. Yeah, that seems cool. Stuntman that's, Ignition. Uh, you might enjoy the club then. Yeah, the club sounds similar to that. That's Stuntman with guns. It's, it's yeah, Gun Gunman. It could be called. Uh, Stuntman Ignition for the 360 and PS3 is one of my favorites, and it's also one that I was looking for today but couldn't find. I like that game. I never finished it. Oh yeah, I like I like how it's just all about the perfectionism of little sequences. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put that on our list of games to stream as well. Let's just put it on there. These aren't all shooters, but they all have a shooter spirit. Oops. I pushed the button on the back of this battlefield controller. Oh. Nice. But yeah, I like I like the arena level design here. It's like you're playing a deathmatch. Yeah. In fact, this is one of the online deathmatch levels. And see, this is what I like. I want... Uh, this is just an interesting point of reference for uh, this is the kind of first person shooter level design I, I want to play you know oh hey where'd you come from so uh, the me. tequila time is, is a thing for online multiplayer yeah right um, 
but I'm actually not sure how it works. I was never able to figure it out. I think when I use tequila time, stuff's slow, but I can aim in real time. Uh -huh. But somebody else the way aims it works in more slowly. Max Payne Three is like that. And That's it how it works. It only works in like a bubble around you. So if you're on the other end of the map, you're not affected by it. Well, that's interesting. So, I've envisioned a one-on-one -on -one FPS in a, in a scenario like this. <laughs> so it's your sort of MOBA-esque. Uh, you have enemies. I shouldn't be spewing these ideas because I know ninety percent of the people watching this are game developers. But uh, like, I mean, it's this is a tough one to handle. And me and Porter are already years ahead <laughs> with uh, Ziggurat's deathmatch. But it's one on one, and you have like factions, right? So you have grunts, yeah. and like I can blow up your grunt gen, and you can turn it back on. Uh -huh. So if I shoot your grunt generator, I turn it around uh, to a point where it closes down, and if I keep shooting it, it turns yes. into it? Oh. a grunt generator for where me. Is it? There it is. Heck yeah. But uh, so basically, the currency in the game is just bullets. How many bullets can you fire into this thing? So it's really, really uh, arena sportsy. But yeah, like, this is the kind of level I have in God, mind. Oh, d good wall move. Drink a tequila bomb. I'm trying. Visit your I'm guitar. Bombs. Oh, man. It's pretty hard at this point. Yeah, it's got tough. The next level after this, if I remember, the next room after this, I think, is there's a piano. <laughs> so there's like a, like a jazz band sort of set up. JKF says, sounds like League of Legends or Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah, duh. I've played those games, okay? Played those games a lot, but neither of them have the uh, sparklingly beautiful basketball-esque shooting mechanics of the game that uh, I've, that me and Porter are putting together. You know what? Wet might be cool. I haven't played it in a while. Yeah, let's, let's check it out. It was on my radar for a while as a game that's just about over-the-top action. I also like that its name is a single syllable. It's got a weird uh, dual wielding mechanic where your left hand gun automatically aims. There's like a reticle just on an enemy. You yeah. Aim the right one so you can shoot at two different enemies at the same time. That's uh, the sort of thing that I, I had in a, a design document that I wrote for somebody once. Somebody who went on to find much success with that document uh, was, was an idea for dual wielding like that but it actually wasn't uh, never ended up being in anything but I guess Wet kind of did something like that there's a uh, you ever played Neo Contra Kerwin? no we've talked about it haven't we? Yeah. Neo Contra has uh, Stop. it's a top down shooter right? which uh, got everybody at IGN etc really mad because it wasn't a side scroller like every other Contra yeah but uh there are enemies that are on a different plane, right? Like flying enemies. And you have a, an anti-air gun uh -huh. that you use to aim at them. So it's a different button. But it also locks on. And it's, it's really interesting because you're always locking on to those guys. Okay, yeah. And you just have to press the button to shoot them. But it has a cooldown. It has like a massive cooldown. So, like, I always... I, I really liked that. And I've kind of peeled that away as an idea I want to do and Ziggurat has something like that as well of course god Ziggurat is so good me and Porter are saying we're sitting around playing video games all the time and we're just like I'd rather just play the janky prototypes of Ziggurat <laughs> than whatever else man just the amount of polish the amount of like in this Ziggurat just needs to have physics stuff blowing up all over the place also, a confrontationally, terrifyingly bizarre art style is on the uh, list as well. He did. God, the ragdoll, man. I love the ragdoll. Like, why do all FPSs not have just insane ragdolling? It's like the light switch goes off in the brain. Oh, nice. The light switch goes off in the brain and the body just kind of becomes a... <laughs> A bag of balloons, you know? It's just a bag of water balloons. That's what I want. Wait, does the guitar also recharge your tequila timer? No. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah. But it's also probably... Is it it? Oh, no! Oh, 
Jesus. Jake Heff says, Neo Contra has rules but has weird controls I could never master. Uh, let me know what your Twitter handle is and I will block you. Whoa. Because uh, the controls rule and uh, you're a nub. Uh, go back and try it again. I think you'll find it rules and it rules with hardness. We're going to go ahead and put Neo Contra on our list of stuff to play. But not Contra Shattered Soldier. This is not a mistake. We want our soldiers completely intact. Yes. Yes. Psyops is definitely one. God, I love this game. Oh, and there's another game that uh, also is on our list that I forgot to name. Kane and Lynch 2, oh Dog my God. Days. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but Kane and Lynch 2, Dog Days is special. We're going to play it last after playing all these other games. Uh, we're going to play it last, and when we do... We're gonna we're going to have practiced it multiple times before playing it, and oh, we will. So we're gonna play it on extreme. We'll play it on extreme straight through, and it's gonna rule. We should play it on two Xboxes in the same room, <laughs> online. I think that's how we're gonna do it. A PCs, two PCs in the same room. <coughs> I'll haul over my machine. God. Yeah, like we totally have to. We're gonna land party, Kane and Lynch too. Oh my God, they're owning me. I'm going to play it with my Philco keyboard and my Zowie mouse as well. So that's how Onigi that's going to be. Is that it? Oh my god. <coughs> yeah, I really like that game. NC Games says that a, a Contra, contrary to Contras, should be contraband. Oh, yep, yeah, you're right. Individual headlight shootings. Oh, Dave Turk says that this map was gray boxed, in, or he thinks it was gray boxed in Unreal Tournament 2004. Yeah. So, Unreal 2. Point whatever. <laughs> Unreal 2.5. Oh, look at the gun stance. I like the. Shoot the tires. The dance there. Oh, they do pop. Wow. You gotta get a couple shots on them. So, the, the headlights do yeah, break individual. individually? That's insane. Can I shoot off the... Did I? Yeah, I shot off the rear view mirror. That's insane. And you got a stylish hit for that. Did you hear that? Oh, that wasn't too stylish. Aw, oh, you overdid it, Chow. <laughs> oh, Chow, you overdid it. I'm roasting. Right. Uh, remember where we parked. <laughs> Tyler Doke points out that my description of the Neo Contra multiplane <laughs> weapon system reminds him of Ray Force. And uh, yeah, Ray Force rules. God, Ray Force actually rules a lot. Like, What's Ray Force? It's a uh, shooting game by good old Taito. Uh, and I like those, those games a lot. Uh, it's a vertical space shooter, according to Wikipedia. I want to see what year it is 1994? I really like those FPSs of the uh, 90s, or not FPSs, the top-down shooters of the 90s. So, back to the elevator, huh? Um, the big man elevator. I can believe this was gray boxed in UT 2K4. That was good. Where are you going? Oh, this elevator. Oh, look at that Unreal matinee camera. <coughs> oh, yeah. Man, I love Unreal. I want to make a game in Unreal. Let's do it. Tyler Doak says, Ray Force rules super hard. Yeah, it rules like crazy. It, uh, it rules with complete insanity. Oh. Uh, Hear this light jazzy music? <laughs> oh, wait. I have an idea for John Woo. He should try setting a gun battle to some really soft music at some point. <laughs> but he doesn't do it in this part of this game. Where was the Woo? Who told you to stop playing? Wait, or does he? 
A standoff to slow tunes. Ouch. Come on. Yep, I got owned. Looks like you're ready for the 100 man standoff. Looks like I'm not. Oh, so Dave Turk uh, mentions the massive D aquariums, the massive destruction of the bull aquariums here, yeah. which are awesome. And then he also says that you should save the band because guess what? That band is going to be on that stage during this whole battle. And guess what? You can own them. Or you can... Uh, Why would I own the band? Well, you can own them on accident, because you're going to be firing a lot of bullets. This part is uh, quite memorable. Well, don't get us off I would definitely stop playing if I were in that band. You owned them. Nope. Missed the own. He owned you. Two shooters. Ouch. Shoot each other dead. Draw it again. Didn't what colors the boathouse? Oh, the aquarium. The aquarium doesn't hurt him. It's just for oh. fun. So I do also reckon that if a band member dies, their part in the song. Oh, dude, that's cool. Cuts out. But uh, I'm not gonna do that. I love those guys. Well, he did it. It saved the checkpoint because it saved the band being alive. What? Why? <laughs> I know there are Kirk Hamilton on Kotak who loves talking about jazz. Oh, Man, those cool. aquariums look so good when they blow up. He loves talking about whenever, like, the existence of jazz music in games. I think this is the best For example. Pretty great. Oh! Hey, he's okay. I know he's not. How's the band? Tired. You know what song they should be singing is uh, Bluebirds by Al Jarreau. Oh, Lord. Blue skies smiling at me. Oh, no. It's Army of Two. Yep. AO2 is here. Should we play Army of Two? No. Maybe, I don't know. Because uh, that game got, like, really atrociously hated on. That means it's probably good, eh? But it had, it had a... Oh my god, I from, threw my other guns. That's from great. what I played on it, it had good space in it. Which is something I like a lot. Alright, let's flip. Yeah, I'll put that on the list. Like, it had good space to look at. Alright. Remember when we... Wait, oh, were God you here damn. when we played uh, James Bond 007 Quantum of Solace by Activision? No. The Call of Duty engine. Uh, yeah, it's so basically bad. got uh, parts from Casino Royale in it as well. They tried to pull off a GoldenEye, uh -huh. and they sure didn't. Should we play GoldenEye? I like that game, actually. The original GoldenEye? Yeah, GoldenEye's pretty easy to like. It was just an FPS that was fun. So, that was another sort of... One hit kills lots of enemies sort of thing. Yeah. I heard that Wilhelm. I have a really good... Yeah, that was a good Wilhelm. You have a really good idea for an FPS. Like a really good one, I think. Yeah. It's uh, one where you shoot dudes and they just totally get owned. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you shoot them. Ziggurat just has terrifying uh, explosions whenever you shoot anything. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah, I punked him pretty hard. This game is so awesome. I really like this game. <laughs> Isn't it great? We probably need to beat this game on a stream. We, we can't just stop playing. Is this near the end? Well, I mean, no, we're at the end, almost at the end of the first part. You Believe it or not, this game takes place across multiple cities. Uh -huh. The next level is, uh, I think, the Chicago Chi Museum of Natural History, which is totally awesome, because you get to, like, skateboard down a dinosaur skeleton while shooting dudes. So, yeah, the rest of the game is uh, John Woo-ish action scenes, like this. This is totally a John Woo action scene in a video game. Why is he one-handing it? That rules. Because he's a psycho. <laughs> he 
He's the killer. And he's hard boiled. This is not a soft boiled action hero. Okay. That was a roll cart, but it wasn't gleaming, so. I thought that guy was gripping his neck. I would love to make a realistic they FPS where. Still there. saved all of them. It's a three piece, right? Yeah. I did it. Wow. I hate fish. <laughs> fish hater. Oh. All right. Okay. Dave Turk is saying this is a six-hour game, Max. Max game. Oh, God, there he is. <laughs> this guy was listening to him, too. Oh, no. Bringing the house down. So it's like... Can you imagine that Duke Nukem Forever came out after this game? It's like, <laughs> like, how can you... Duke Nukem is, like, he's basically a superhero of owns, right? That's all he is, is he owns people with guns, uh -huh. right? And, he's, and then he makes oh, stupid cool. wisecracks. This game doesn't even need wisecracks because the owns are that hard. The owns are the wisecracks. Yeah. Like... Just let that sink in for a minute. Oh, one game I won't add to our list is Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah, no way. The game is terrible. Oh, for God's sake, man. What about that guy over there? Okay. So another... They're, they're, oh, wow, they're all gone now. The camera slides off them and then it just cuts them out. <laughs> <laughs> This game is the Tony Whoa, Hawk's Pro it. Skater it of It won't Odin. land on anything but the wheels. Let's do that again. Those physics are slightly less bumbly than okay. uh, a lot of physics. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. Come I just, on, one more. I just love the heck out of it. Give me one more. <laughs> love it. Guys. Bravo. Guys. Guys. You did good. Live jazz band. Oh man, there he's playing the sax, one guy playing the piano, one guy playing the drums, another guy playing the machine gun. Because that's what it is. To John Wu, action is music. Action is poetry. I bet no movie critic has ever said that. That's a joke. Every movie critic says that. Well, back to the elevator for me, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Belly flopped into the elevator, the bellevator. Dave Turk said to kill one of them. No. Well, I probably should have. Yeah, for posterity. Sorry, Dave. There are actually two elevator doors in there. Nice. All right, bullish time. You got entirely through this level. That's kind of amazing. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. This is another Unreal 2004-looking sort of... Uh, Oh, those vases. Oh, NC Game says a more original analogy would be comparing a fight scene to a ballet. I think, I hope you're joking because, uh, Chicago News, because that is another thing that movie critics said. He's joking. Give the guy It's some also credit, like man. poetry, like ballet. This boss, uh, is, uh, pretty much 100% hardcore, straight up ruling. Oh, another game I want to play on a stream is Tsukioni Saraba. I don't know what it's called in English. Wait, yes I do. It's called A Thousand Bullets. Have you heard of that game? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I want that game. Or A Hundred Bullets? A Thousand One Bullets? Oh, What's the statue. Called? I love Tsukiyoni Saraba. I wrote a review of it for 10,000 bullets. How many bullets? 10,000. That's what everybody wants to know. God, stop owning me. Yeah, so 10,000 Bullets is another good game, if anybody knows about that. Yeah, we've got a pretty good connoisseur's list of shooters here. Oh, God. How many do we have? Jesus. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm grooving you. 24. One more and we'd have 25 shooting games. 
Oh, there's a lot of health up there. Well, wait, Neo Contra's down here. That's 25. That's not a shooter shooter. Oh, man. He's straight skeet shooting me. Ah! Give him a closer look of his own head. Yeah, I'll show him. Man, that statue just being broken into individual pieces. Just the amount of pieces a thing can get broken into. Reminds me of a uh, Afro Samurai, which also has a lot of pieces. You can shoot, you can cut dudes apart. I love the sound of that gun. Oh man! Don't own me. Stop owning me. That's what I want. Oh, there he is. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh. We've got a good list of, uh... Oh, I can punch him. Oh, yeah. Well, it's we a Chalian fat punch, so... Always bet on fat. God damn. Did he refill his health? No, did he? I think he did. Bummer. Oh! This guy's a pretty hard boss. Yeah, he's... He's taking care of business. Oh, Dave Turk is saying you gotta barrage him. Oh, that's probably the best idea. Thanks, Dave. Or he's saying that's the key. You gotta get the paper cranes. Where's that? I don't know. Are there any? Don't the paper cranes restore your barrage? Yeah, I think so. God, look at all the health up here. I know. Oh, there's one. Shoot it. Shoot to loot. One. Hey, I want a shotgun. Oh, I got this one. Oh, wait. Whoa, What's did up? you notice that? The railing blew up <laughs> when he shot it? What did? The railing blew up. Oh, yeah, he's, That's amazing. He's, his gun's blown everything up. Yeah, I know. I'm just joking about the formable terrain. I was, uh... I, I've been watching a lot of uh, Destiny on YouTube. Like, videos of people playing missions that I like just to see, like, really good players yeah. playing a couple missions I like. And I've been... The, the number of comments I see about destructible terrain blows my mind. It's like, until there's destructible God, terrain, this isn't next-gen IMO. And it's like, that's so weird. And then there was a... There was a video of one of my favorite levels on Venus where you fight a gate lord, which that level's very similar to some ideas that I, I have always had in level design. Stuff that I like. Oh, he's gonna pull out a rocket launcher. Lord. He's throwing grenades. Grenades. So yeah, the uh the uh Oh wow, you are just solid owning him. Yeah, well, he's Up those returning stairs. the favor. Retoning the favor. Oh! Try toppling the big statues. I did that. I want dead statue. Oh, press LT to dive. Oh, good game tip. Should say pull LT to dive, by the way. Yeah. Little tip, if you can call your guys, Dave Turk, tell them to fix that. <laughs> patch that in. <laughs> tell them to patch that in. Uh, whoever owns the... I wow. Yeah, so I see a lot of comments about deformable terrain, like saying that the game is like childish nonsense without deformable terrain. What games actually have deformable <clears throat> levels, they destructible terrain? The thinks it's so cool for having them. Mm -hmm. Is that Vin Diesel? That's what I was thinking. Vin Diesel. So another comment I saw, a cool comment I saw on my favorite Venus level, I saw somebody said, and I'm not even kidding, the comment is, and I, I remember it with sparkling clarity, and I recited it earlier today, and it made me wish I'd screen capped it, but it was a video with like a million hits, so I'm pretty sure there's uh, more comments, and I'll never be able to find the hilarious one, but the comment was, and I recite it verbatim, L-M-A-O at sign this kitty garbage no one I repeat no one 
is going to be talking about this once the pre-sequel drops. And he was talking about Borderlands, the pre-sequel. And yeah, that's the most hilarious internet comment <laughs> I've ever seen. Now that I think about it. LMAO at this kitty garbage. It's what they said of Destiny. God. Why did it look like kitty garbage to this guy? Compared to Borderlands. Yeah, if cartoon. anything, Borderlands with the cartoon aesthetic looks a little bit more uh, kitty. Just, you know, in my rough estimation. Oh man, shotgun barrage. I'm saving it for his third. Oh, the third stage. wave. Top of the statue. Oh yeah. Well, he's not by it anymore. Oh. Let's do it anyway. That's a joke. All right, you have unlocked a barrage, and you'll still have a healthy chow. Son of a. Oh, he's gonna deal with you in a minute, by the way. I'm gonna be with you in a second. We'll be with you in a second. He's like constantly in barrage mode. Where? Let me. God save, man. He's reloading. Well, he must not be in a John Woo movie. Here we go. This is nuts. Yeah. Can't get a lead. Oh, there's a machine gun that is. I can't aim yeah, that the, far. The machine gun barrage. Oh is, my god! Come on. Are you that's me? amazing. Get a health. Oh, you got a health. I used a. Yeah. Oh, good. Let's go punch him. Guy's got good aim. I like how you're always sprinting in this game. God's sake, man. If you run while ducked, I think you'll avoid some bullets. Oh, how do you duck? Click the left stick. Oh. Should, I should... Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, ace him. Try him. There we go. Oh, baby. Two, three, four, five, six. How many shots do you think you can get out of that? Scene from Hard Boiled. <laughs> oh, Lord. oh my god. That was the Mona Lisa of Ownage. <laughs> the the M Own Alisa. I've never seen <laughs> NC Game says that was like a ballet. Yeah, got... That was poetry. We've got Dave Turk's Twitter handle. I'm gonna follow Dave Turk on Twitter. Hey, me too. Tyler Dutch is, uh, so. is shrieking with laughter <laughs> at that. Oh, the casino's blowing up. Aw. See y'all later. Well, There's, There wasn't even a bomb. That was just the force of my ownage. I don't know how you can possibly... Uh, uh, how you can possibly beat that. I just don't know. I do not know how you can possibly <laughs> beat that as the end of it. C-? minus. I'd give that an A+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we have to stop now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Man, I really wish this chat were, uh, uh, what do you call it? Real time. Saved oh, somewhere. saved, yeah. Also real time. I wish time. I could read it. Have you yeah. seen it? Because I would have a good time with it. Just, uh, select all... And copy that and email it to me. No, but it, it cuts it off. Like, oh, yeah. Well, what's yeah. everybody saying? Oh, they're all just talking cool stuff. I've been talking. I've been I've been uh, reading some people's stuff. Yeah. But yeah, y'all, that was really good. Dave Turk, thanks for popping in and uh, telling us some stuff. We're probably going to play this again. Uh, we're probably going to finish it. Because according to the wiki, where are we in the wiki? Uh, we finished Tayo. Make a stop at the restaurant Mega. Tequila the Rising Conference Room is attacked by Loke. 
Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six more levels. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think it goes to, uh, what's it called? Chicago and then back to Hong Kong. Dave Turk says it's nice to see people enjoy the game. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we enjoy the game as well. Uh, we we don't really need a... We're on the right wavelength for enjoying this game is what yeah, I'm trying to say. A, that was really cool. <clears throat> and Devera says, it looks like I have to buy this game. Yeah, yeah you I definitely have to. I see this in a, a place and want to get it. Yeah, this is a good one to own. That's like a played over and over again kind of level, the restaurant. Yeah, that one's good. Uh, jacking up the difficulty really on it is good. Uh, I think that was... Was that the restaurant or the casino, that level? Casino. I figure it's a casino. Yeah. So, yeah, we're... Uh, uh, like I said, I, as I read earlier in the stream, we have a, uh, a pretty big list of games that we like almost as much as this. Uh, and we're going to be playing a bunch of them in the coming uh, months, I suppose. So, $32 million of damage. I really want to know what the dollar value of one of those vases is. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this long stream. I will export this to YouTube immediately. Just export the barrage part at the end. Yeah, I'll do that, too. I feel like putting the whole uh, the whole casino part in there is good. Dave Turk says he always loves talking about Stranglehold. Well, we're probably going to do this again because we're going to... We want to play through this whole game. Because forget about Destiny. I should write a Kotaku article called Forget About Destiny. Here's 20 games you can buy for $5 each <laughs> that uh, do amazing weird stuff with shooting. Because that's what I've got here. I've got a list of uh, games you could probably buy for 5 bucks. Anyway. Have a good time with whatever you're doing, everybody. It's time for bed. What's wrong with this phone? What is this? All right. Goodbye.